you were one of the three co-chairs of the uh, CTAM Insights Conference uh, this past June. Uh, can you talk about how you approached it? It was very different, very successful. Uh, why, what, how? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, um, I, had, I was blessed. It's like, uh, and then of course it's like I was probably cursed because I have been the person who goes to conferences and spends the first morning at a conference and I love it and then I'm bored and tell everyone I'm bored and have work, let work creep into the rest of the conference and like take over my time so I'm like either in my room if I'm away out of town or I'm back at the office doing things and meanwhile it's like I should be at the conference. But um, I, and I sh it was interesting because when uh, we came to when Artie, Michael, and I came together first with Clay and Kelly and the team, we all actually had a similar kind of uh, view, and we felt like that it's just got to change, especially for um, researchers who are studying what we're studying in our industry. It's like there's like, you know there's change happening all around us, but um, no one had like actually kind of. We knew that there was a, a plea for change and an expectation for change. And we had been on uh, research committees in the past, uh, conference committees, which were terrific for that time. They were great for the time, and this, and this seems to be right for this time. Uh, the next ones will be right for their time. But we felt like that we had to um, bring in new voices, and, and I found great uh, uh, pleasure in finding and, and delight and surprise that actually these two other individuals who I had certainly admired from afar but didn't really know um, had exactly the same vision that it's like they they were had hunches that like we should have certain types of speakers we should bring in analogous categories to uh, just deliver a similar message but actually to inspire us we all were really focused on inspiring uh, and there were a couple times where I thought like should this be called the inspiring con conference but that didn't make sense so Insights was what we changed the name to, um, and it um, certainly fueled us to new heights. It's been terrific. Um, we felt like that um, all the speakers, which we loved, um, were, were especially poignant and eloquent about helping to p help people in the room understand that like, they get it, they, and to talk about the things that they get that are right here hidden in plain sight that actually they could be doing, and how all those kinds of things were... Uh, Continuous dedication to it, and we didn't have a com we didn't have a committee, which was an interesting thing. And it's probably you know the good news, bad news. We didn't have a committee, so decisions got made quickly. Um, we just went with blind faith, thinking, hoping that the decisions were going to be smart ones, and uh, it seemed to pay off. I mean, it was it had its own quirkiness to it, and uh, which I think allowed people to feel like it's real. It's not like so robotic and and uh, kind of uh, uh, technological or things. Todd, what were some of the takeaways from the CTAM Insights Conference? Well, you know, it's interesting. The, um, the speakers were uh, so far, there was such a far kind of range of different types of speakers. And from a CEO, a former CEO of like a major, major beverage company, Don Hudson from Pepsi, um, through to um, anthropologists from IDEO who were actually, you know, down in the trenches, like really trying to help companies understand and try to divine from consumers what is what's the human part of your of yourself that you're bringing to this product or purchase experience, and so from the high of that to the low of the other, uh, it was rewarding. And so you know one of the things that that uh, Dawn shared with us, which we all know, is like don't wait for that meeting on high, take get your message out at your level with other people, realize that insights, uh, when they get, to, there are people sitting there, just as my former boss had told me, waiting for what you have. They need what you have. And so it's like when you give it to them, it takes your insights into a place that then becomes like, it becomes productized almost. And you can actually embed it into uh, initiatives. And bring, so then when it makes its way up, you know, it's not about pride and ownership and authorship, it's about the team. When it makes its way to the CEO's desk or, or the strategy team, it already has like, it's already insights at work. And I think it was something that we all needed to hear and were rewarded to hear. Um, another one, Rashad Tabakawala, another takeaway was like that ins insights for the future will come from the slime, not from the heavens. 
Um, and you know, it's like it's about like the insights that you have today are not the insights that you're actually going to need, and the data that you have is not. It will not yield the insights that you need. You really need to get in, dig around, root around, pair up things that you wouldn't normally expect. Um, that will get you to the place that's going to take. You know, that's going to be surprising and certainly inspiring to people. Um, that's. I mean, those were those were a couple of them. We did a, a, a wired session a couple of days ago that actually was. We got to walk through all the bits uh, on uh, each of the sessions, and we had the great news is we were able to work with a guy named Tom Benton, who basically was a graphic illustrator, who captured the notes from the conference, and um, just having that view, the snapshot is a great reminder, but also just a fresh way of bringing insights forward. You know, the, with more data sources than we know what to do with and they keep coming on at us, we have to have new ways of bringing all those things and marrying them up together to tell new kinds of stories. Well, it was a very successful conference. Thank you. Uh, Todd, you've uh, worked on many CTAM committees. Can you talk a bit about the value of CTAM? Sure. Um, well, I think that, you know, it's, um, I'm always looking to grow and to, uh, I feel like that, again, I can't do it alone and I, am, I love to be inspired by other uh, voices. I look to other people for, for inspiration, and I hope that I'm doing inspiring them as well. CTEM has, has been a terrific group to uh, be connected with. They are respectful of what it is that we bring to the table. They assemble great minds around the table uh, who may I might not get access to, and our company may not get access to, uh, on a continuous basis. So when you're involved with a on a committee for a study or the conference or something like that. You're with these people intensely for like you know six or eight weeks, and so you start to develop a relationship. You start to understand how they're approaching their business. No one's necessarily coming forward with like trade secrets. It's not really about that. It's like we're all you know we're all in the same boat when we're all trying to move it forward, and so it's been professionally rewarding for me because I I feel more I feel better armed with understanding the way the business works. I'm able to also help translate back to our businesses, some of the value, new value that like we've learned about consumers in an affordable, um, time efficient, uh, highly effective kind of way. And the folks at CTM are terrific to work with and um, that of course make, that means a whole lot.